Welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com where we try to take a look at a tip or a feature of Photoshop in about 30 seconds. It usually always runs longer and today this one is going to run longer because we're looking at the good old brush tool. The brush tool, you know, you click and you paint, boom, and it's just like that in Photoshop. But you can also right click with the brush tool and adjust the size or the hardness of your brush as well as choose from any brushes that you've loaded into Photoshop. Speaking of loading and uh, loading brushes into Photoshop, you can hit the little gear fly out and choose from any of these like preset Photoshop. These are all included with Photoshop, these brushes here. Um, and if you like, let's say load special effects brushes or whatever, any of these, hit OK. That replaces the brushes. Append adds them to the end of the list of brushes. We're going to hit OK though. And now we've got just some other brushes loaded into here. Oh, we actually want to go back to the other brushes. You can always load your basic brushes by hitting the cogwheel and boom, basic brushes. Hit OK and boom, we're back to just the default basic brushes of Photoshop. You can load any brushes into Photoshop by going load brushes and find the .abr file on your hard drive, like let's go 52 grunge brushes, and boom, all these grunge brushes have now been loaded into Photoshop. Now, when you're working uh, with uh, the brush tool, you can use your left and right bracket keys to make your brush tool bigger. That's the right bracket key makes it bigger, or the left bracket key makes it smaller. Very, very quick hot key for adjusting the brush size on the go so you don't keep messing around, right clicking and using a slider, etc. You can also adjust the opacity of your brush tool by coming up here and dragging over the word opacity, which is a little scrubby slider, or just by like hitting the number five, which takes your brush down to an opacity of 50%. See that? See how it's kind of clear and see-through? Let's undo that. You can also adjust the flow. Whoop, let's just drag that up. What do we do there? Uh, you can also adjust the flow by hitting, sh holding down shift and choosing any number. So shift five gives us a flow of 50. Now, you may be asking, what's the difference between flow and opacity? Well, here's the difference. I'm going to reduce flow to about 17%. Flow, when you your painting continues to lay down brush strokes upon itself. Flow is like holding a can of spray paint in one area and spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying. It builds up right over that little area uh, upon which we are applying the 17% flow. Whereas opacity, no matter how long you paint over one area, it only ever goes to the opacity setting. If you click multiple times, then you start to build up your effect of uh, a more and more opaque shape. So that's a quick preview, uh, preview overview of the opacity and flow, and you can use your numbers uh, to adjust them as well. Now, something else that's kind of cool are the brush dynamics. If you open up the brush uh, panel here, the only brush dynamics you really need to worry about are these here. You can adjust the angle of the brush, which with a perfectly circular brush, it's not really going to do much for you. This is more like if you're using a brush, maybe that's a leaf or some an eyelash or something, you can quickly adjust the angle. The other things that are important are you've got scattering where you can increase the scatter, which is basically going to allow you to sort of spray all these dots all over the place. I don't use that very much anymore. Uh, shape dynamics. This is kind of cool because like right now I'm using a tablet, but why am I not getting like my true blue, you know, tablet pressure sensor? Sensitivity. You can change in the control and set this to pen pressure and look what it does. See how it gives us a different like preview? That's because now we're working with pressure sensitivity on the tablet. I'm pushing down hard. Now I'm not pushing down very hard at all. Back to pushing down really hard. So there's all kinds of different things you can do here in the brush panel. Shape dynamics is really where you're going to do your most work with the brush tool. You've got all kinds of different jitters. Jitter just means the the sort of the range in which size can be fluctuated. So if size jitter is set to 100, you're going to have the maximum variety of large and small brush dots within your brush stroke. And you can see that reflected here. So lots of little tiny dots and lots of the large dots. And um, depending on how you press, that's going to dictate what you're getting as far as your size jitter. So that right there is the brush tool in Photoshop. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and Tutvid.com. Thanks for watching.